Hello, welcome to our channel. For those of you who don't know us, I'm Steph and this lovely lady is Nick. Um, and today, it's more of a chatty video. It's been a while. It has been, been a long time. <laughs> yeah, so today we're gonna chat about our plans that we have coming up, which we're super excited about. Um, and yeah, just to kind of update you so that you know what's, what's coming. Yeah, well, I think we've been dropping little like bits of information and nuggets on Instagram um, and yeah it's, it's quite sweet like we love the Instagram community everyone's like gets so excited for you and stuff so yeah. I feel like we need just need to do a, a full like information this is what this video. is what's going on yeah just lay out all the plans and all the ideas and then we can like talk about it more and get excited yeah. yeah so that's what we're doing so welcome those of you who follow us on Instagram you would have seen that we have booked some flights Instagram link below. I think most people thought we were going to either Disney World or Disneyland Paris. We are going to? We're going to Anaheim. We are going to Anaheim. California. Oh, my God, I'm so California. excited. Here we go. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> it's been a bucket list item for years. I feel like we've been talking about this trip for, for a long time. <laughs> yeah. For like half of our relationship. Yeah. So, totally buzzing. From the... Monday the 27th of February next year to Tuesday the 7th of March next year but because of like the time difference and stuff we'll land on the 8th um so it works out like uh eight nine ten days I don't actually know I know I think it's eight nights nine days but then it's like ten days if you include like the, the time night. difference when we get back and stuff so yeah it's a good good lo awesome. lot of time um yeah longest flight I think for both of us yeah it's like a 10 hour flight I've done, a, I've done a like connecting flight because I went to Vegas but I think this is the longest single flight well the furthest I've ever been is Florida for Disney World so I've never been anywhere um, Florida's the only long haul flight I've ever done so this is going to be an experience for anyone who doesn't know um, we were supposed to go to Disney World for our honeymoon back in March 2020 unfortunately Disney World closed the day of our wedding which mm. was Happy wedding day to <laughs> Um yep. Yeah, that was traumatic. Um, <laughs> but so yeah, we kept, we've like rebooked a few times, and we kind of just got sick of waiting and kept cancelling and all the disappointment and stuff. So we decided to just kind of like we could have waited and kept postponing, but we just wanted to kind of take control of it and book when we wanted to. And we kind of felt as though the trip that we had planned because we had all these like, extras and like after hours events and like. We were supposed to go in one of the old planes in the bubble that they're not doing anymore and like a few other things that we had booked that just aren't there anymore or not on offer at the moment so we kind of felt as though our honeymoon the honeymoon that we planned wasn't happening anymore so we kind of wanted to just do something totally different because mm. we we're still set we were still paying the same price yeah we're paying the same price it's a less for a lot less of yeah what we had hoped to a less of experience yeah. and also it's kind of like we felt that like we were kind of clutching on to the, the last remaining parts of our honeymoon and for us we just kind of felt like we needed to just just like let go of that move on and plan something kind of different that we can yeah. kind of like get excited for like in a fresh new way yes and i think this I, is the best way to do yeah it. definitely and we've we've both talked about doing f like california um specifically in 2023 for a long time because i turn 30 next year I don't like to uh say that too loud um, i like to say <laughs> she's turning 30 next i'm turning year, 30 next year and i've just I'm always not. wanted to go to california just saying I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah okay you're the following year whatever <laughs> um i always wanted to do california for like my 30th year that was like a dream it was it was literally like a pipe dream never thought it'd actually be possible especially because of the wedding and it's so expensive when we decided to cancel florida and cancel our honeymoon got all our money back which has been great yeah disney were really helpful yeah they've been amazing mm -hmm. um our cruise um we have changed which we'll discuss in a little bit um we were supposed to doing a four nights day is it for a four night break on the disney dream um from port canaveral in florida which we have now changed and again disney have been amazing and so accommodating with everything yeah but the only things we couldn't really change were our flights uh we couldn't get money back or anything um but they did give give us like a travel voucher for everything that we'd originally spent because yeah 
every time we changed the flights, we had to like pay more. And yeah, just the flights just kept going up and up every year. We, yeah. Well, I don't even know how many times we rebuilt our flights, but yeah, <laughs> every single time it was like, oh, and we got to pay extra. Yeah. Um, so we were lucky that we were able to not lose all that money. Definitely. So. And um, over the course of, because I mean, we originally booked our flights in. 2019, 2019. Mm. so we're finally using them in 2023 like four years later which is crazy but because we've booked like rebooked them so many times and we have like every time we've had to rebook them we've had to pay more we've kind of accumulated quite a big bucket of money mm. um and can anyone mind a bucket of money i know right can we just sounds have a... great <laughs> need to find like the other the end of a like rainbow like a like a pot of gold yeah <laughs> a bucket of money yes please <laughs> yeah yeah so that lovely bucket of money is paying for us to go to California. For anyone who is aware of trying to fly to LA, it's very expensive. Like flights to LA are crazy expensive. Mm. So we were like, well, we've got this voucher. We can use it to go anywhere with Virgin. So they've been great. Yep. Um, so why not <laughs> splash out? Because I tell you what, a return flight to Orlando probably wouldn't even use up all the money that we've got, so. <laughs> no, no, I don't know why we spent so much, so much money, but there you go. Um, yeah, so that's, super exciting um we haven't booked anything else yet have we for disney no um we're doing some research about where we're gonna stay um but we know we want to do did we say five days we said five days of disney didn't we yeah i think we said five days of disney because that'll give us four full days so we can do like uh because we'll like the day we arrive we'll be like we'll still get a ticket for that day i think but. yeah and then the remaining time of our holiday we'll just explore la and do the touristy bits yeah um i'm a big movie buff so i'll probably be looking for Kate blanchett on the walk of fame so <laughs> yeah. you know we've got other important things to do so um yeah i'm really excited for it same it's gonna be amazing and oh, i cannot wait to go to disney i know it's gonna just be like a dream oh. the the original like og park that will actually has been in uh, it, it's just gonna be really special i think it's probably gonna be a lot of tears yeah oh definitely <laughs> <laughs> so we'll fly into la um we'll book a hotel in anaheim um we're not gonna stay at one of the disney hotels because they're so expensive um, but one of like the ones nearby, um, we've got a couple that we're looking at, but if anyone mm. has any recommendations, please let us know in yeah. the comments because... Yeah, if you stayed there and you, or, or if you have stayed somewhere and you're like, don't go for this. Yeah, <laughs> don't stay. Please also let us know that. <laughs> <laughs> so we fly on the Monday, on the Saturday we'll change our hotels from Anaheim to Hollywood, and then we'll stay in Hollywood for three nights. And we did toy with the idea of Universal as well. Yes, yeah, because obviously that's what another we also love universal so mm. yeah we're quite tempted by that and, and you got to the, the movie tour yeah the studio tour. i know amazing, well, I, like i it? said i'm a big like movie fan yeah. so i i will probably end up doing that L lots to look forward to yeah lots to still book which is very exciting yes definitely it's just nice to book disney just to have disney stuff to plan i know disney planning is the best and then with our flights, because we've got so much money in our little Virgin account, we have got premium seats going out to LA. Yeah, I'm excited for that. I've never done premium before. No, I know. It's crazy. It's a, a luxury. Yeah. So that'll be fun. Um, yeah. So that's that's our plan for the, the beginning of the new year, which is awesome and something to look forward to. So we're really, really excited. Obviously, we're going to vlog it and yes. bring you along with us because we like doing it for ourselves as well so that we uh, also capture the memories mm. um, and we know that some of you might like it too but before we go on this amazing holiday we have changed our crews as we spoke about before but basically as we were meant to be doing the Bahamian bah, bah, yeah. Bahamian, Bahamian? Uh, the it. cruise uh, in Florida which was going to go to Castaway Key and things which would have been great and I'm sure one day we will do it. We will go. Um, we were a little bit cautious of travelling. When when everything was cancelled, we were like, oh, we don't know if we want to fly all the way to America just yet. It's also the fact that you have to do COVID tests before mm. you go and things like that. And we were just, we were a bit nervous. So we looked at other Disney cruises because those of you who have booked through Disney, you know how easy it is to just move your cruise. If you can't make it, you just move it to a different one. And Disney Cruise Line have been incredible yeah, this entire amazing. time like even better than disney world yeah, like yeah. they have Definitely. just been phenomenal um because it's been quite stressful 
for, <laughs> for quite a while. Um, it's been it's been a, an event. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been more than an event. Um, yeah, so they've definitely helped us out, and I don't know if anyone knew that uh, a while ago they did the incentive, didn't they? Where if you rebook rather than cancel your trip, because obviously they didn't want people cancelling their trips, they would give you a percentage of your money as cashback. It's like cre- like onboard credit almost, wasn't yeah. it? That you could use as like for e- whatever you wanted. Yeah, well we did this twice. Um, so we managed to get quite a bit from Disney because we had rebooked it twice and it was COVID times. So we decided to use that money for a cruise that was on our bucket list and it goes from the UK. So we don't have to fly to America, which is great. We are going in September. We're going from Dover and we're doing seven nights on the Disney Magic once again. And we're doing the Norwegian Fjords. Oh, it literally. It's the dream cruise. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Like, what I love, I love the, the, the warmth and things of, of, of Florida, but th- this cruise, the fjords and, and the, the glaciers and mm. the mountains, We've looked at going from Dover for years now at one of the cruises, even before we did the Magic at Sea cruise. It's something that we always knew we wanted to do. And this was always the dream cruise for us. Um, Yeah. But it is such an expensive cruise. But, I mean, yeah, being totally honest here. I mean, it's a a long one. Yeah, seven nights. So it's a good amount of time. Um, But, yeah, because we have had to move our cruise so many times, we essentially nearly had a thousand pound of Disney onboard credit, which is a huge amount of money, yeah. which we were able to take off the cost of our cruise. So we're like, this is literally like a once in a lifetime opportunity for us to do this cruise, make it more affordable for us. Mm. And it kind of makes the fact that we've had to rebook and not been able to do our original cruise, like yeah. it, it, it takes um, that bitter feeling away and yeah. <laughs> well, there's no bitterness now, no. I'm like buzzing. Well, yeah, we, we definitely wanted to do this cruise and it is one of those slightly more expensive ones. So it just made sense that, okay, well, we've gained a bit of money here. Let's put it to something that Amazing. is a bit more expensive yeah. and yeah, it will soften the blow a little bit. But um, oh, so, so excited. Yeah. We get to book our excursion soon, don't we? Yeah, and because we've done the um, Magic at Sea cruise, we are Silver Castaway Key members. So that means our booking window opens slightly earlier than for anyone who maybe was going on this cruise for the first time. And we've done the magic already and we love the magic, but it's also yeah, quite nice yeah. to go and like know we like we love it and kind no, of... Oh, wait around a bit better. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Cause like, I mean, I mean just... I'll still go the wrong way <laughs> yeah. with the carpet. I'd be like... Oh. We did five nights in total on the, um, like, we did two back-to-back um, Magic at Sea, so we did five nights, and even by, like, the last day, we were, like, still finding new places, I think, so. Yeah, it's, oh, I just love the Magic. I like the fact that it's smaller. I mean, I, yeah. obviously, we want to do other ones later on. Yeah, it's quite nice to know that we're just going back on the Magic, because we know we loved it. We yeah. love the restaurants, we love the shows, and... So our booking window opens in June. Um, we've got four ports that we're stopping at in Norway, and then there's two days at sea. It, there's no guarantee of what will be available, but based on the excursions on the Disney Cruise Line website, we've picked out, I think, three excursions that we want to do. So it's like one at three of the ports. The one that we're not going to do an excursion on looks more like, more town-like. Yeah. So we thought it'd be nicer to explore the area, just kind of at our own pace. So it should be some amazing, like, amazing experience, hopefully some amazing footage. Um, We won't tell you what those excursions are yet, just in case we don't get them, (laughs) because I might be sad. Well, we, not too sad because it's amazing. There is, there's no guarantee that they will be released for for this cruise, but also, um, obviously, the platinum and the gold members will get priority booking, so we'll just get like what's left. <laughs> yeah, it's always it's always a little bit nerve wracking, but we'll just we'll see how it goes. With our stateroom, we're actually staying in a new stateroom because when we did the Magic at Sea, we did a veranda and then we went into an inside room. Uh, mm. And we have an ocean view room this time. It's the kind of mid tier. We didn't really want to do an inside room because it's such a scenic cruise. Yeah, um, I want to wake up to the mountains. I don't yeah. want to wake up to nothing. Nothing. <laughs> the walls. <laughs> the dark. They're very lovely walls. But oh yeah. <laughs> if we could have afforded a veranda on this one, I would have done it. But oh my goodness, I think it was like double the price. Um, I don't know how cold it's going to be. So we'll probably just pack everything because yeah. we don't know. It could be warm, it could be cold. September can be quite warm. Yeah, and I think Nor- Norway is known for being quite wet and rainy. So I think, um, yeah, I've, I've actually bought a coat specifically for this trip. Um, Did I? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, you did, didn't you? <laughs> oh, yeah, so we're already getting prepared. Like, picking stuff up in the sales. So. Got some, we've got some waterproofs to me. Yeah. Um, and we've got our walking boots. It's, it's just going to be the weirdest packing. We're going to take, like, all of our Disney stuff and then, like, walking boots and raincoats. Hi- hiking and gear. Hiking and gear, stuff. yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> we both love the outdoors. I'm rather unfit and we need to kind of get. Hey, uh, since I have COVID, <laughs> I'm very out. unfit, thank you. <laughs> yeah. COVID destroyed my lungs, so I get out of breath very easily at the slightest hill, so, um,. Yeah, we might need to train a little bit for that. Well, people train to go to Disney World for like all the steps you need to do. I think we need That's to do true. some like hiking Disney training for this cruise. And also all the food. We need to like lose all the weight so then we can put it all back on with the Disney food. <laughs> that sounds like a good plan. We need that stamina. Yeah. Going to bed at like midnight, waking up at six <laughs> o'clock, doing X amount of ridiculous steps a day, hikes and all overindulging. For love, all for the love of Disney. <laughs> I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. We've got stuff to look forward to, which is great. Um, yeah, so make sure you're following us on social media. For example, Instagram and TikTok, because we're now really cool when we do TikToks. <laughs> yeah, we'll link everything below, and you can check out our travels if you want to. If you don't, that's fine. We look forward to, to vlogging them and things. It's yeah. so much fun. I know, right? And if anyone's got... I mean, if anyone's booked on this cruise, like, let us know. Oh, my goodness, um, We yeah. need to chat in advance. Um, we've might actually... on the Facebook page. Yeah, it might be. We've actually found um, a friend that we um, we made at 2 o'clock in the morning the day we were checking out of the Magic of Sea cruise. Perfect time um, to make <laughs> Hi, Johnny, if you're watching. <laughs> um, <laughs> we, uh, we were actually booked together on this next cruise, which is really exciting. So we've been getting excited together, like, on Instagram and chatting about all, all the things we want to book. So, yeah, if anyone else is booked on the cruise let us know we'd love to get yes. buzzing and checking plans and stuff or if you've got any other disney trips planned let us know yeah there's a lot coming up there's you know 50th anniversary still and disneyland paris have got the 30th anniversary now and hey is anyone going to tokyo let us know i want to know these things hopefully us one day that's also on the bucket list yeah the, the disney bucket list never ends no because <laughs> disney keeps creating more for the bucket list <laughs> yeah. right guys well stay wonderful and we'll see you next time thank you Bye. Bye.